you have to find something else. You yeah, find one that rolls, you find one that rolls. Mm -hmm. He's gone on, boy, he's yeah. gone down. So we're out there flat out, that's the brother there. There's Robert there. And that's just my little pip. So someone has to get on the camera. Some fella just came down there from the IFI. I'm not messing with you, lads. We're out there doing things. It's the most ignorant piece of shit the way he came on. Walked on with his hands all held out like he had a gas bottle under each arm. Storms on down the steps, walks over, and asks the boys, what are you doing there? He says to Robert, and he says, uh, tell me what am I doing here? Oh, what are you doing in there? You're disturbing all the salmon span. He said, who are you? I'm with the IFI. He said, have you any identification to show us there? No, I have no identification. Well, he says, we'll come back with someone we might listen to. You know who you are, boy. Telling us about the river. Matter of fact, we know exactly what we're doing on the river. We know exactly all the work we're doing here is to make life easier for the salmon to get through. It's not going to do the fishermen a whole lot of justice. If it was, he'd build dams and slow them down. We're opening it all up. Opening up runs there. We're after opening cleaning runs all over the place. See the amount of rocks we're after taking in to clean them runs, right? All rocks down along there, see there? Look at the same, they're all piled against the bank there, holding back the bank. Cleaned off all down along there, cut that back about two foot the whole way down. Sorted out the river as well, like down so, here. look, a lot of stuff, we're up there cleaning the river as you can see. All that now is not but weeds. All that was not but weeds, alright? No, look at it. All right back, left the weeds there, that's supposed to be left there. Cleaned off all the black slurry muck, a lot of it. Come up here, but you're looking out. This was nothing, but... Oh, we can't now. Nah, those steps are over here, Blair. Aye. All the way up along here, we can. The brother's out there now in Robert. We can't away. See here? All this, this is all had to be cleaned out. This is nothing but sticks and shit. And there's another tree coming out here, then blocking up the place. And that's it, the remains of it there. That's just the root ball. There's all the tree coming up there. It's right back now. That was all blocking here. And the amount of shit that came out from underneath, as I say. When we got them trees out, that shit, when we pulled that out, and we had to put some effort to get that out, you can take that to the bank. All right? That was underneath it, all the lights of them had to be pulled out. So we cleared all that there. So, bring back them trees. After opening up, now making a lovely run, same up here. After opening up the weir and cleaning out some rocks to make it a bit deeper, lovely channels for the fish so they can go shoom. That way, this way, or that way. They have no problem needing to hold up. I don't know who he is, anyway, but he didn't get saying that to me because I was out in the middle of the river, thank God, because I'd be thinking, buddy, do yourself a fucking favour now, right? Robert's walking back here on the height, as yeah. you know. The I know, was, behind the lamp, Robert, Robert is. Yeah, yeah, of course, man, we know exactly. Yeah. Don't mind that, for you know what he's talking about. Any eggs that go down there, there's any feed for fish. I'm watching children in and out there swimming the last few days, and I've been telling them, mind the lampers there, kids, and I see no one out heart and saving the lampers. Well, go away, man. There's some shit. I'd say you should be worrying about the salmon you're coming up the river with these lampposts. Boom. See that there, no lights? Can you see that there? Not the top of the fish, lad, no, boys. Not to come on, for God's sakes. But this part. Rejoice, the earth is becoming greener. And that's right, lads, and that's going to go a few years now. Well, it was 2016, according to this, but I know about it a few years. Again, as I said, I used to put videos out and all this stuff, and I stopped because they terminated my channel, so I, I just found like I was beating my head against a brick wall. So, But I'm going to throw this in because, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go back and I'm going to start adding bits into videos the way I used to, to educate people. They might tell me my channel again for it, so, so, so be it. So here we go anyway, right, so rejoice the earth is becoming greener. Right, so here, I miss all the talk of an immediate planetary catastrophe caused by emissions of carbon dioxide. Another fact is often ignored. Global greenering is happening faster than climate change. So basically what that means is the grass is getting greener in certain parts of the world faster than it's dying in certain parts of the world. So the earth is becoming greener, all right? So it's as simple as that. See that there? CO2 is plant food. That's correct. So the carbon dioxide that they're telling you you're throwing out and you're going to kill the place, well, the science doesn't agree with that kind of chat, you get? Because the, the science is... 
In 2016, a paper was published by 22 authorities from 24 institutions in eight countries that analysed satellite data and concluded that there has been roughly 14% increase in greener vegetation over 30 years. The study attributed to, to 70% of this increase to the extra carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, right? Attributed to carbon dioxide. So, because CO2, well, the plants love carbon dioxide. It's, it's a food for them, you see? Right, so here you can keep reading in here, right? The lead authority on the study, one in terms of of Beijing University says this is the equivalent to adding a new continent of green vegetation twice the size of mainland United States. So basically, what's happening, Rich? Do you want to come into my classroom? No. Learn something about the CO2? No. This is a great classroom. You'll have to be, I'll have to teach you. So, right? So twice the size of mainland United States, right? Global greenery has affected all ecosystems from the Arctic, tundra, to coral reefs and plankton in the tropics. This is because cars. plants lose less water in the process of absorbing carbon dioxide if the concentration of carbon dioxide is higher, i.e. better for the plants, better for the greenery. Ecosystems and farms will be less water stressed at the end of this century than the after the during periods of lower rainfall. Right, so listen, so in case this fella from Guess people don't believe Mr. Bing Bang should have been buying wine. Come on up here and I give you another. What if phenomena can also help to explain the coming and going of ice ages? It has always been puzzling that ice ages grow gradually colder for tens of thousands of years, then suddenly warmer again in the space of a few thousand years, at which point the huge ice caps of Eurasia and North America collapse collapses and North America collapses and the world enters a warmer include such as the one we've been enjoying for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> 10,000 years my man you mean couple of weeks. So anyway so what if my man is trying to spoof that's how do we know let's let's shoot on over to the next never a straight answer NASA. See what NASA's got to say. Surely be the God no NASA won't agree with none of this. They'll be saying, no, he doesn't know what he's talking about. No, we're, we're here in NASA. No, yeah. Beam me up there, Scotty, off to NASA. Beam me up. Study that provides the most detailed look yet at plant life across Alaska and Canada. In a changing climate, almost a third of the land cover, much of it Arctic tundra, is looking more like landscapes found in warmer ecosystems, i.e. telling you it's the ice and green and changing colour. Right, with 87,000 images taken from the Landsat satellites converted into data that reflects the amount of healthy vegetation on the ground. And researchers found that western Alaska and other regions became greener between 1984, ooh, George R. William, 1984, where we're living in the year, like 1984 didn't come at all, like we're in it, living in it. This is the 1984 we're living in, George R. William. 1984 to 2012, the new Landsat study further supported previous work that has shown change in vegetation in the Arctic and Northern America. So there you go, so, right, so that's Take it. Take it away there, Sam, take it away. Oh, hold on a minute now. Hold on a minute. A change in Arctic viewed from space. The Arctic, no less, is looking like more like Clarny National Park here in Ireland. <laughs> that's the truth. That's very like the burn in the wrong parts of Ireland. The very, if I took photos of parts one and put up, it says the very same place, right? So the lakes and that, the very same, right, basically. So when you imagine how people be celebrating, oh look, the place is getting greener, you know? You know, the world is getting greener, right? it's not black or, or not burnt up. No, no, they, they'll tell you, you're all going to die, you're all going to die. But, but this is what's really happening, and I can be sure uh, anything living in around here is only fucking delighted that they're getting a bit of sun.
20% incline and greener and 3% decline. So that tells you 20% up in the greenage area. So the world is becoming greener. So that's brought to you from that, it's on the website though. Your planet is changing. Well on it, well on it, like white on fucking rice. That's the serpent's tongue there. See that? That's what that represents, the serpent's tongue. N A S A. Never a straight answer. That is the serpent's tongue. Do the research. I had videos out and all this stuff before. But they leave out truths with a lot of lies. But the truth is the world is getting greener. And the lies is that the, 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 the polar bears are all dying because of it. Like what they do is they go up with their camera and they lay on the camera at a sick polar bear. There could be 50 polar bears to the left of the cameraman as far as fucking foals, right, as elephants. And then there could be one sick for that to the right of him. I, I'm floating around in a bit of voice because he's dying. Because that's what polar bears do. They go up nice all the time. They're forever floating around on fucking blocks of voice. That's what they do. They're polar bears. That's what they do. But they'll pick a sick fella and a bit of voice and show him and say, Oh, look at him. He's dying. Look, they're all mad nourished over there. The ice is melting. Nothing about the rock there now with a camera in summer when the ice will melt. The ice melts every year and then it freezes and it melts and freezes. That's what it does. But they'll go up in the summer months, pick a sick animal, point the camera at him and tell you, Oh, look what you're doing to there. Then you'll have the likes of Greta Thunberg and the rest of the back or simpletons trying to pump it down your throat then, you see? But that's the truth there, yeah, that's what I like bring people, the truth and the facts, you see? As people are entitled to their own opinions, and you can have your own opinion, but your opinion and the truth, an opinion is a big difference between an opinion, that might be your opinion and you might be steadfast in it, but it's not the truth and it's not facts, so your opinion means fuck sweet all in the face of facts and truth. So know that anyway, lads, because that's what I like to bring people some truths. Me children are around there, so you have to forgive me. He came on with a kind of, you know, a very bad attitude the way he stamped on down, so it didn't, didn't start off well. But look, thank God, we've all made amends. Uh, the lads that was in, look, everything is cushy, and he's turned out to be a nice old fella after all. He just cares about the river, and it was a misunderstanding, so... I'll forgive and forget. You know there's what's his name there above him, Steve Irwin. That's Steve Irwin there, you can see with him there now having a chat, so... Steve, if you see this video, big shout out to you, bud. That is Steve, isn't it? Yeah, Steve. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Legendary. Just legendary Steve himself. Yeah, yeah. Better known as the Lamper. It's him. The Lamper. The Lamper, man, the guy. Definitely catch your flies, yeah, Steve. Mm -hmm. Oh, back up. Mm, yeah. Wheeling back in. All right, look. Here, here. Ah. Rabbit <laughs> tools. <laughs> Rabbit tools. Rabbit tools. Look, look, look. Yeah. 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 Hello. That's why we're going down to clap for him. Oh. <laughs> <I wouldn't. laughs> all right. All right, all right. All right. Good job for here with that lamp over the virus. He's bold, bitch. Stop it. He's looking for us, he's looking for us. Mm -hmm. He's to find something now. He's yeah, finding one that rolls. He's finding one that rolls. Mm -hmm. He's gone on, boy. He's gone down. I'm going to let them.